I'm Peter, and welcome to French Roast Reviews, with Peter. Today, I have my guest Sorrel Feinstein, and we're going to be talking about the series A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. <music> known for the TV series called A Game of Thrones. So, a lot of fans like to pick a favorite house in the series. Do you have a favorite house? You know, I'd have to say my favorite house is the one with the three babies in it because it just shows a lot of emotion with them crying and whining. And I love just how they talk their baby language. That's very touching. Yeah, it is. So the Lannisters are a very controversial family in this series. How, how do you weigh in on that? I think with the Lanchesters, I believe that they're good neutral because you never know what's up their sleeve. And when what's up their sleeve comes out, it's just like, BAM! There's been a lot of blowback on this uh, series, both in the books and the HBO series, about all the sex and violence involved. Um, do you think the sex and the violence contribute in a meaningful way to the story? Well, without the sex, there is this huge pit in your heart that the other part of your pit is missing and without the violence there's like what is this show could you give me some specific examples sex contributes to the story as well it doesn't really contribute to the story at all as a matter of fact and with the violence Flamengodar and Rikikusha, it's like World War II. And you need that in the story. There was an extreme fan reaction to the Red Wedding. What was yours? Well, it was definitely red. Like, there were red pews, red flowers, red ribbons, red posts, red stands. It was red. Could you approximate your facial expression when you saw all that red? I was like, aww, that's so adorable! Magic is being increasingly introduced throughout the series, like the wargs in the north and Daenerys' encounter with the Magi. And, um, where do you think the author is going with this? What I think Gary Lundman is trying to do with the magic theme is that it's not really magic, like, wands and magic, it's like, it's like, it's like the inner magical self being inside of you that you need to express. The books are told from multiple perspectives, um, like Eddard Stark, Catelyn Stark, Daenerys Stormborn, Tyrion Lannister. Would you say you have a favorite perspective? you listed were my favorite, but my favorite is probably Mika Slumson because she's small, but she has a big heart. Before, I was going to choose Ken Stark, but I picked Mika because she is, even though she's in her mother's tummy, she's going to come out a warrior and be tough. Eddard Stark is executed by Ilan Payne. Um, what do you think of that? Well, you see, Engine Stark was eliminated from the Game of Thrones because it was a game for the thrones. And instead, Ellen Page defeated him, and she won them over. And what would you say the story has to say on the topic of politics? The story has nothing to do with politics. Nothing! Well, thanks for joining me. That was very informative. That's all the time we have for now, though. Darn. We'll see you next time on French Roads Reviews. <laughs>